Uh, I'm probably one of the in-house objectivists at ESI over the years, <laughs> having spoken on Ayn Rand's 100th anniversary. Uh, what would you regard as the role of government in an objectivist society, and in particular foreign policy and defence? Um, so I think the role of government is the role of government is uh, police uh, to protect us against criminals uh, and to protect against um, against fraud. A judicial system, a judiciary that arbitrates disputes and, of course, pr prosecutes those who committed fraud and committed uh, crimes, and a, a military that is protect us from foreign invasion, from terrorist attacks, from uh, you know, uh, foreign violation of, of our property rights, and, and it, you know, I think I think there's an open debate at which point uh, violation of American, let's say, we're talking about America. Of America's property rights overseas would justify would justify a military intervention. I think that's a, a debatable issue at what point that happens. But I certainly think there is a point at which massive confiscation by a foreign government of American property is justification enough for U.S. to use a military force in order to protect the individual rights of its citizens. So the overarching idea is the role of government is to protect individual rights, the individual rights of its citizens. That's why we have nations, rather than the individual rights of all citizens all over the world. American government is set to protect the individual rights of Americans. The UK government is set to protect the individual rights of the British. Now, if, if, if all governments are doing a good job at that, then you know they all look the same and uh, there's not much difference between them. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have that kind of circumstances. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, I, I get a sense that you're asking more in terms of the foreign policy. Uh, but I think uh, the, a government, is set to protect its citizens. So if it's attacked, its job is to defeat the enemy as thoroughly, as quickly, with as few casualties to itself as possible, and then bring the troops home. So my view is crush the enemy and come back home. No nation building, no martial plans, no helping establish democracy in the world as, as uh, you know uh, Bush would have liked. Um, no setting up puppet governments overseas. You go in, you penalize the people who've, who've inflicted, you know, who've, who've violated your rights, and, and you get out of there as soon as feasibly possible. Again, the criteria for all those actions is, what is the action necessary to protect the individual rights of your citizens while minimizing the risk to your own citizens?